proofs of laws of set operations so in this regard we are going to prove some laws of set operations of complement laws so under the complement laws we are going to prove the part 2 standard so part 2 the conditions are of the first condition is of a dash whole dash a complement whole complement is equals to a and the second condition is of mu complement universal dash is equals to universal set dash that is complement of mu is equals to phi and the third condition as phi dash is equals to mu so we are going to prove these three conditions under the advanced level so here in order to prove these conditions so first of all you have to assume a set that is a the latter we must know the formula of complement of that particular set that is a which is given by means of mu minus a that is set a is subtracted from the universal set that is mu then now the complement sets or the complement class they are of the first one which is of a dash whole dash is equals to a and the second one is of mu dash is equals to phi and the third one is of phi dash is equals to mu so here we are going to prove these three conditions say here by means of element wise proof then now we are going to prove the first one so in our proof the case number 1 is of a dash whole dash is equals to a then now here we must know the two formulae that is a complement is given by means of mu minus a so when we are going to find out the complement of a that set a must be subtracted from the universal set then now say here a dash whole dash say is equals to so here the complement of this bracket is equals to the bracket must be subtracted from the universal set so here bracket consists of a dash so here mu minus a dash will gives us the a dash whole dash so here based upon these two conditions we are going to prove a dash whole dash is equals to a by means of element wise proof but in order to prove the condition that is a dash whole dash is equals to a first of all we have to prove say here a dash whole dash must be the subset of the right hand side that is a and in the second case we have to prove a must be the subset of a dash whole dash then now in order to prove the condition which is given is of a dash whole dash is equals to a we have to prove the two conditions so here the two conditions are of the first one a dash whole dash must be the subset of a and the second condition as a must be the subset of a dash whole dash now i'm going to consider the case number 1 so in our case number 1 so i have to prove a dash whole dash as the subset of a but since we are going to prove it by means of element wise so i have to assume the, an element which belongs to the lhs so here i'm going to assume the element as so here let x belongs to a dash whole dash that implies so when i remove this complement so here x is belonging to a complement whole complement when i remo remove this complement then now here belongs to becomes here does not belongs to will be the next logical step so here x does not belongs to since we have removed this complement so here it becomes only the a complement so x does not belongs to a complement but further if i remove this complement so here that implies so here x does not belongs to become the belongs to of this particular a so here i have removed this complement then now here i have to change so here does not belongs to as belongs to so in this manner i got so here then we have left hand side is off so here x belongs to a dash whole dash implies the right hand side is of x belongs to a so from this it is clear that the element x 
E is present in A dash whole dash and the same element X is also belonging to A. The elements which are belonging to the LHS are also the elements of the RHS. Therefore, the left hand side must be the subset of right hand side. So, yeah, therefore, A dash whole dash will be the subset to the right hand side set that is A. So, in this manner, we have proved the first condition that is A dash whole dash the subset of A. So, let us assume. So, this has the equation number 1 or the condition number 1 which we got from the case number 1. Then now, let us go for the case number 2. So, in our case number 2, we have to prove the condition as in the reverse manner that is A must be the subset of A dash whole dash. So, here A subset to A dash whole dash. Since we are going to perform this proof by means of the element wise, so we have to assume one element that is x which belongs to the left hand side. So, here let that element be x which belongs to the left hand side that the left hand side set that is A. Then now that implies when x is belonging to A, so here we can write it as x when I write it as since instead of A, if I write it as A complement, then now here belongs to becomes the does not belongs to. So, here it does not belongs to. So, here instead of A, I have to write it as A complement. Then now the next logical step will be off. So, here since A is the subset of the universal set A, universal set that is mu. So, here since A is x is belonging to A, but A is the subset of mu universal set mu. Therefore, x definitely will be present in the universal set and here. So, here the next logical step will be off that implies. So, here x belongs to the universal set that is mu, but here it does not belongs to a dash. So, here x does not belongs to a dash mean. So, we can subtract that a dash. So, here since we have subtracted a dash from the universal set. So, here it means the x is not belonging to the a dash, but it x is belonging to the only universal set that is mu, but x does not belongs to a dash. So, here instead x does not belongs to a dash, we can write it as x belongs to. So, here since the reason is of since a is the subset of the universal set that is mu. So, we can write it as x belongs to mu minus a dash. We got this logical step by means of the reason since a is the subset of the universal set that is mu. Then now from this it is clear that so here as per the formula of a dash whole dash we know a dash whole dash as mu minus a dash instead of mu minus a dash we can replace it by means of a dash whole dash. So, here mu minus a dash can be replaced by means of a dash whole dash then now the next logical step will be of. So, that implies x belongs to a dash whole dash or a complement whole complement. So, here then we have the LHS is of x belongs to a is the LHS and we reach the RHS as x belongs to a dash whole dash. So, here we can write it as x belongs to a implies x belongs to a complement whole complement. It mean so, here the element x is present in A and as well as same the x element x is also belonging to A dash whole dash or in other words A complement whole complement. The elements which are present in set A are also the elements of A complement whole complement. That means the set A will be the subset of A complement whole complement. So, from this we got so here therefore A is the subset of A complement whole complement. So, in this manner we have proved the second condition from the second case. Let us consider this as the equation number 2 or the condition number 2. So, here from two conditions are two equations from equations 1 and as well as 2. So, here the first condition is of a dash whole dash is the subset of a as the equation number 1 or the condition number 1. Then now the second condition is of so here a complement. So, here a is the subset of a complement whole complement. So, here let us consider this as the equation number 2 from these two it is clear that a dash whole dash is a subset of A and that A is also again subset to A dash whole dash. From this it is clear that LHS is the subset to RHS and RHS is also the subset of LHS. From this it is clear that LHS and RHS must be equal or equated. So, here therefore or hence so here A dash whole dash will be equal to A. So, in this manner we have proved the complement law A complement whole complement is equals to A. Then now let us go for the second case that is the second one.